What's up guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm gonna go over a issue that a lot of people have and I had actually last week, that's why I really wanted to make this video, um, is a golfer's elbow, which is a, basically a kind of like a sharp nagging pain in the uh, backside of your elbow. Um, a lot of people get this from basically just an, an overstress, um, a very basically uh, pattern overload from the uh, extension of your elbow joint, right? Um, or just overuse of your forearm, uh, pretty much just uh, your your extensor muscles, which are your your forearm muscles that are on the top side of your forearm, uh, which again extend the wrist, right? So you got your flexors, your extensors. Golfer's elbow is basically from your extensor muscles being overworked, right? It's kind of like a shearing, um, kind of like a tearing of your of your tendons from your from your extensors, your the tendons that attach those muscles to your elbow joint, right? Uh, so what we're gonna do is like um, kind of like a three-step protocol um, to try and help you know you, know, you get through this issue because you know it can mess up your workouts. I know it did mess with mine for like the past whole week. Um, didn't matter if I was doing um, you know rows, definitely presses, um, extensions, things like that. Uh, the elbow pain is just so it's so frustrating, you know. Um, the way I got it was from helping a uh, a friend move some furniture. Uh, Again, I work out in the gym like six days a week. I do a lot of uh, like heavy overload and stuff. So my forearms are like used to a, a, a you know a good beating. But when you're doing a lot of movement, um, and then again like the same pattern over and over, uh, picking up things in uh, ways you're not usually used to, um, then obviously you know things get hurt, things get overworked, and my forearms were sore the next day. And I knew it, what was going to happen. It was going to go straight to my elbow, which it did. Um, but at that first day, I just tried to do these three things I'm gonna show you, and it, and it really helped a lot. It took a few, like, like three, four days actually for me to completely, you know, see it gone. And I did take two days off the gym, which is something you may wanna do if you have this problem. But um, okay, here we go guys. So this is what we're gonna do. Save that for later, if it would stay. Okay, so basically I have a, a foam roller here. Uh, what I'm gonna try and do is warm up the area. <clears throat> And uh, basically just get those muscles kind of ready to be broken apart uh, and separated, right? So I'm gonna use a rumble or foam roller. Hopefully you can see me here. Uh, all I'm gonna do is get my hand uh, to pronation so my wrist is down towards the floor. Uh, I'm just gonna rest. Again, my extensors are here, right? So I just wanna roll out this entire area. I'm gonna go on the foam roller, get my body weight over my arm. And then I'm just gonna rock back and forth Basically from, you know, close to my wrist all the way to my elbow joint. Maybe I'm gonna go a little bit to the side, to the other side. See, so yeah, for me, like if I go to my, um, the uh, outside of my flexor muscles, I get a lot more pain there. So obviously that's where I'm mostly tight at. And I recommend you doing this for like, you know, one to two minutes, really try and get the area warm and ready for some deeper tissue work, you know? that's what we're trying to do here. Again, the muscles are overactive, so they're very tight. Um, so I want to try and break up the tissue and, and get some separation between my, my muscles pretty much, you know? So, um, the second thing we're gonna do is now we're gonna get a little deeper. Uh, so from here, I'm gonna use a lacrosse ball. You can use a tennis ball, um, baseball, softball, whatever you, you, know, you have at your use. And um, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna show you two variations you can do this. Uh, this one just being on the floor and then one up against the wall so this again is just so uh, i'm gonna again attack the same spot basically do the same thing but allow the uh, lacrosse ball to get kind of deeper in between my muscles so here again i'm going to track my my extensors i don't really have to kind of put my body weight over it because this honestly is going to be enough to get so much deeper than the foam roller so i'm just going to roll up and down if i find a spot that really bothers me I'm not really, maybe I'll roll on it a little bit, go circles with my arm, back and forth, up and down. But then I'm just gonna pin it, keep some good pressure on it and allow, you know, new blood to the area to help with recovery. So right now I'm on a tender point. I'm just gonna stay on here for like a minute or two. Well, not, not right now, but you're gonna try and stand it for a minute to two here. Allow and try and feel that release of the muscle. And then once you have that, then I would just allow for some movement in the arm. <clears throat> and then um, basically the last thing I would do, I'm gonna show you the second variation of this, but after the stretcher, 
Uh, all I do is something simple. You probably have even done it before. I'm just gonna take my hand on the floor, uh, get my arm straight, and then I'm just gonna pull back. You should feel a nice intense stretch on the top of your forearm here. So now, since we beat up the muscle, we kind of stripped it, as you would call it. Uh, we're gonna now just stretch the area, like so. Again, I plant, right again, pronation. I, on the floor, elbow locked, and then I'm just gonna pull back. It's gonna be a subtle movement, but you're gonna feel an intense stretch. And bam, that would be my one, two, three protocol for a golfer's elbow. Again, you warm up with the foam roller, get a little deeper with the lacrosse ball, and then finish off with that um, extensor um, stretch. But, um, and then if you wanna go a little deeper in with the lacrosse ball, I'm gonna show you another variation to try and break up the tissue against the wall. Okay guys, so we're at the wall now. Uh, what I'm gonna do with the lacrosse ball is gonna stick it in the wall. Again, find that sweet spot. Again, most of your pain and discomfort is gonna come from your uh, radio, uh, brachioradialis muscle, which is basically this kind of top slab of your forearm where most of the meat is. Um, and then coming down here might be a little tender, but we're really gonna try and you know track this big muscle. Uh, what I'm gonna do is place the ball on the wall, get against it, my hands just out like so. Um, all I'm gonna do is open and close my hand. Or I'm sorry, I'm just gonna kinda like wave my hand in and out. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is again, I, I trap the muscle, right? I trap the muscle in flexion, so my wrist is back, and then I'm just gonna try and attack my um, my flexor muscles to, uh, to completely elongate my extensors while I have it trapped in the lacrosse ball. So. I'm gonna get a lot more deeper work into this guy. So I'm just opening and closing pretty much. And now I'm just gonna go circles. Again, I'm still searching for hot spots. <clears throat> yeah, and there's one right there. So I'm just gonna put some pressure on the against the wall. Same thing. Gosh, just little circles and bam. So um, you can do, again, the foam roller, the um, the ball technique with this, the stretch, and then you can kind of finish off. If you want to get a little more deeper into the uh, the muscle, you can do the um, the contracted release method, which I just showed you here. Um, and then after that, guys, again, it's consistency. You know, it's not going to heal in one day. It, you know, it took a, a big beating to get you to where, you know, the pain is now. So you want to just take a few days, um, even weeks if it takes you. Excuse me, doing this kind of protocol, maybe like, two, maybe three times a day. Um, once definitely, obviously, uh, but twice to three times a day will really get you to where you wanna be, uh, with, you know, decreasing that pain. Uh, and then after that, when you do that in the gym or at home, I would just you know, tend to ice the area um, just to decrease any kind of inflammation. And then you know, for about 20, 15 to 20 minutes or so. And then afterwards, I would just get like a heating pad, um, something with heat, maybe even like a hot Epsom salt bath and allow your arm to really soak for a good 20 minutes or so, um, just to kind of, again, bring new blood to the area, to bring recovery to the muscle, you know? So again, guys, I hope that helped. Um, my next video, I'll probably do um, the opposite. I'll probably do um, tennis elbow, but for, for now, if you have this golfer's elbow you know, problem, uh, hopefully this helps you, give it, a <clears throat> give it a shot. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, if, subscribe if you're new. I'll be posting videos like this. Um, you know, workout footage, you know, once a week. Um, like the video if, if it helped you out. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.